Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 318. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Website link and you can download the workbook, Magic Trick 317 to 323. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to do a lookup on a product ID, but we need to extract a certain part of the product ID in order to look it up. So for uh, 52, we need to be able to look up this one right here and return this date. For 61, we need to look right there and return that date. So we're going to use the mid function with VLOOKUP. Now, we just in the last video, I showed you a bunch of ways to extract parts of a product ID with mid. Uh, this is, um, in this particular case, the pattern is quite simple. Our product ID always starts at the fourth character and goes two characters. So 61, 1, 2, 3, 4. The starting character to extract is 4. And we go 1, 2, two characters. And here's our little table right here. All right, I'll make this a little bit bigger. All right, uh, here's our V lookup equals V lookup. We need a lookup value that will then go over to this table, look through the first column, return whatever is from the second column. So the only tricky part here is we need to get that 52. So we'll use the mid. And the text is going to be here, comma. The starting position is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, comma. The number of characters is going to be 2. We close parentheses on the mid. Now you can go ahead and uh, highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate. And you can see that it got that 52. Control Z. Now that's the lookup value, comma, the table array. That's going to be this. Highlight those two. Control Shift down arrow. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock it. Move this screen tip down just a little bit. So that's our table array, comma, the column index. This is column 1. So column 2 is the column that has the value we want to return to this cell. So we'll put a 2, comma. And we're going to look up and i got two, a bunch of screen tips here. We need exact match because we do not, we have exact codes here. These are, these, it's not like a tax table lookup. So we need to put false or 0, close parentheses. Control enter. But what in the world is going on here? N A. That I can see a 52 there and a 52 right there. Well, let's uh, go ahead and uh, we could run formula evaluator formula uh, formula auditing evaluate formula in 2003. That is in the tools menu. We could run it. Evaluate, evaluate. Oh, look at that. That 52 is in text. I'm going to do it here in the cell because you can see even more clearly right there. If you highlight that part and hit the F2 key, or I'm sorry, F9 key, which is evaluate, you can see the uh, Excel thinks it's text. Anything in quotes is text. And so when it looks over here, that is a number. It will not match. We actually talked about that in great detail in this uh, last video. So control Z, and all you have to do is either multiply 1 or divide by 1. I'm going to add 0. Control Enter. Oh, it worked. It returned the date. The date we wanted to return for code 52 was this 73. So look at this. And you can highlight this, including the 0, and hit the F9 key. And that 52 is not in quotes. Excel knows it's a number now. Control Z, Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. And we can see the last one. It worked just fine. It took that 21 and it delivered that date. So that is uh, mid converting numbers as text back to numbers and VLOOKUP. See you next trick.